Hey guys, Sophia here with Turquoise Toffee and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2023 IFBB Pro League Rising Phoenix and Arizona Pro Women's Events Results. All of it. Bikini, wellness, fitness, figure, women's physique, and women's bodybuilding. One of the biggest shows of the year and it did not disappoint. And I've got my five weeks out to the Bikini Amateur Olympia coming your way next. I am documenting my whole prep and it is getting really close. I can't believe it. Now, in terms of Olympia, it's the top three <clears throat> from last year who are automatically qualified. Then it's the winner of each division of every contest that happens in the qualification period. And that is almost over. There is literally one more weekend to go before the qualification period ends. So very high stakes at this show and everybody delivered. So here is the women's bodybuilding, the Rising Phoenix World Championships. In first place, Andrea. Second, Angela. Third, Michaela, fourth, Mela, and fifth, Chelsea. So here is Chelsea in fifth place. Gosh, she looks incredible. We just saw her win at the Europa Pro. Man, she looks so good. Her V taper is absolutely gorgeous. She's got the most beautiful midsection with smooth skin, nice ab definition, really good full lats that just make you notice her V-taper so clearly. She's got beautifully peaked biceps. They, they really come up and out of her arms. Her quad sweep is incredible. And I think the lighting here is exceptionally good. Even better definition is being seen and picked up by the camera than what we saw here. We got all kinds of detail in the quads, the gloss, the sheen, just her muscles look shiny and glowy and so full and so round. I just love her quad sweeps. I think she's got really nice curves both to the outside and the inside of her legs. Um, the yellow suit, uh, I really liked this one. I just thought it was so pretty. I thought this was one of the prettiest suits I'd ever seen on a women's bodybuilder. The yellow is a little more subdued. Um, it's certainly a bright color. I'm not crazy about yellow with the tan, but it does look nice on her. It fits her very well. The cut of the bottoms is very flattering. The top looks really beautiful. Um, she'll have to be just careful that this little tiny gem is very perfectly centered, uh, pull the triangles nice and close, but otherwise I think she looks great. Uh, and I do like this a little bit more of a separation between her legs than we saw here. I think it just gives your eye a bit more of that X shape. Overall, absolutely incredible. Next and fourth is Mela, and my gosh, her waist is so small. This little twist she does in her front pose just highlights that teeniness. Um, great definition in her abs. Clearly even more lean and defined than she was when she won the Atlanta Pro. You have so much detail coming through in the quads. The striations, um, just the lines are so sharp. Like check out this right here. It's so visible, just a, a really deep groove. I think she looks very, um, very outlined and drawn, right? Like the, the lines are so crisp and clear. Um, beautiful shape. Like I said, the posing is very flattering to her waistline. You notice that V taper. Her suit is both subdued and flashy at the same time. The color is nothing too eye catching. You know, it's like this gray, but I love the snake print. It just shows her personality. And I think the contrast is really nice against her skin. I like it better than the orangey gold that she had here. Her hair looks lovely, um, beautiful shape to her upper body. You know, maybe she could have a tiny bit more delt, maybe just if it, they could pop up a little higher and, and perhaps a tiny bit more size to the biceps, but I love how 3D they are. They're really like a separated uh, part of her arms. So I just think she looks amazing. It was a killer look. 
Next in third is Michaela, who also is coming off of a big win at the Tampa, and she looks amazing as well. My gosh, and this is another athlete who's doing this twisted front pose, and it really rings out her midsection. She looks extremely detailed and defined in the abs. I do think I like this better than the vacuumed straight on front pose. It just really highlights the width of her upper body and the narrowness of her waist. Whereas here, we definitely see that hollowness in her stomach, but this is highlighting the the shape a little better, in my opinion. Now, I think her conditioning is always exceptional. Really good lines. She's vascular. She's got detail everywhere in her arms. I love how full the bottom of her arms are. This lump, this curve is just awesome. And insane size in her lats. The curve is so good. Um, She just looks like like I question, how can she even move her arms when she has this much lat? She is so well developed, extremely wide, and a crazy big V. Now, I do think that the soup bottoms could come up higher. Like if they could be more up here and come down the hips, I think that would do even more to accentuate that X and the V. X shape and the V taper of her upper body. Right now, my eye is kind of being pulled down to her hips, and I'd prefer if it was just a little bit more up and over the curve of her oblique. Uh, But I love the color. I love her hair off to the side. Uh, She looks really amazing. Absolutely stunning. All right, next is Angela in second place, who we haven't seen since her second place at the Olympia. And oh my gosh, check out her legs. She has made some improvements. Oh man, the size on the inside of her legs is crazy. They're so curved, so full, so round, and she's got just as good of conditioning as she had at the Olympia. The quads are so visible. Um, The abs look completely like an eight pack, not even a six pack. She's got such great lines, very small waist, very narrow. Uh, I love that you can see glute even from this front pose and a beautiful V. So she doesn't have those like super rounded curvy lats that stick out. She just has this really beautiful silhouette. The shape overall is gorgeous. Uh, I love the black suit and her hair being up and the, the black hair matches the black suit so nicely. It really draws your eye um, from head to toe. I do think also Angela could maybe experiment with a higher cut on the straps of her suit, but I love how low it comes. And I love that V shape that she has. Um, beautiful skin tone, really nice upper body. I think her arms look full. She looks so lean, lots of vascularity, lots of detail, but mostly man, it's those legs that really catch my eye and she looks incredible. Wow. And now in first place, Andrea, we last saw her get first place at the Olympia. So this is so amazing to see her again. It's a little preview of what we're going to have at the uh, next month. And my gosh, she looks awesome. Beautiful skin, great legs. Um, the conditioning is awesome. You've got that feathering coming through in the quads. You've got lines in the hips all the way up to the crease of her hip. looks so beautiful. Her waist is tiny, nice definition in the abs. Um, She doesn't look as vascular and grainy and crazy as maybe Angela in second place. She just looks really smooth and super detailed. It's a beautiful look. I think her skin looks incredible. I love the two-tone suit. It's different. Um, It's subtle, but it's very pretty. And then she matched her eyeshadow, her jewels, just a nice, very feminine overall look. Um, I think it's very beautiful. Her biceps in particular look amazing, really nice definition into the arms. And here, the tricep area, I love the line here that's really defining 
um, her triceps. She's just got a beautiful overall shape. She poses really well to make that X visible without extending her leg too far and losing the sweep. So I think you're seeing nice curves and nice overall shape and silhouette. Her hair looks stunning, everything. She's just perfection from head to toe. This is a great look. Okay, so they didn't have official lineup photos on the MPC webpage, but I was able to find lineups on the Wings of Strength Instagram page. And I know that they're small, but I really like that you guys can see how the different heights of the competitors are, how the lighting was on them, and, and really a good look at what they actually looked like on stage rather than me making a mashup of the individual photos. So here is the front and the back. Insane. I noticed Angela's quad sweeps so visible, such great definition. I noticed the tininess of Andrea's waist. I noticed the huge lats on Chelsea. Uh, her her width is really good. Mela, her waist looks so small as well um, and beautiful definition in her legs. And then Michaela, okay, in this shot, she's angling herself to the judges. It's not the greatest view for us as viewers over on this side, but you can see these beautiful curvy lats, um, just a gorgeous amount of definition also. And from behind, Michaela's width in her back, that amount of muscle mass she has is really something else. Uh, I notice also the detail surrounding Angela's glutes. I think she's got a great outline, but Andrea has some amazing size in the glutes. Compare Andrea's glutes to Angela's. They look a lot bigger and just as well defined. You really notice the V-shape. It's very smooth and perfectly pointy, right? Not the curve... Um, like you see on Michaela in the lats, just this beautiful, full V upside down triangle. Chelsea, gorgeous size. I almost wonder if she's leaning backwards a little bit too much. We're kind of losing some of the fullness in the back, in the top here. Um, Mela, I think... When I compare her side by side, maybe a little bit more of the width in the lats, like from elbow to the top of the ribs would be nice just to fill this space. Um, but Andrea, you know, her shape is so clearly that X frame. She's got the tiny waist, the really big, beautifully developed glutes. She's detailed and lean without being too striated or vascular. Um, but my gosh, everybody here is a first place winner. They're all going to Olympia. And this was an absolutely phenomenal top five. And what a fabulous preview for the Olympia. I love it. So nobody knew added to the list. Andrea, of course, was already qualified. Okay, pro figure in first place. Rhea, second, Shanice, third, Paula, fourth, Christine, and fifth, Nikki. So here's Nikki in fifth. We just saw her get fourth place at the Sasquatch Pro. She looks awesome. I don't know whether she wasn't quite in the pose in this picture, but she's nailing it in this one. The bend in the arm is so flattering to her shape. It just draws your eye up to the lats. Um, the, her delts look really good. Although I did see a little bit more curve to the delt here, whereas there's a little bit more of a slope right in this one. Um, so, so maybe just a little bit more of a tweak with the hand position. Her legs look beautiful, really nice quad sweep, nice definition. Perhaps she could have a little bit more size to the inside of her thighs, just so that there's less of a space, but maybe simply by turning out the toes, she would have, um, the legs pressing together a bit more and just make the legs look a bit more full. She's got beautiful skin tone. Her abs have a nice amount of detail, not overly bulky, just nice lines, uh, a beautiful overall, very lovely, pretty shape. Uh, I do think she could have a bit more gloss just to be highlighted a bit in particular areas, a bit more on the quads, uh, maybe a bit on the obliques, but overall just a beautiful look head to toe. And I love the red lip to coordinate with the suit. She looks stunning. 
All right, next and fourth is Christine. I couldn't find a picture of her in the front pose, so this is what we have to look at her beautiful lats. I think this twist is a really nice view of her shape. Nice curve to the glute, and check out those hamstrings. Gorgeous size, nice curvy shape. She's got good conditioning coming through with the detail on the hip. Um, the abs, I think, could have been a little bit more defined, maybe even pulled in a tiny bit more just to really showcase the smallness of her waist. But she's got really good width to her upper body, nice fullness in the shoulders, uh, beautiful eyeshadow. You can see she's got a nice smoky eye, nice suit color. Everything looks very lovely, but I do feel like she could have more of that sharpness and really clear lines coming through in the conditioning. If the delts could be a bit more outlined with that crispy sharpness, but perhaps it's just the pose and we'll see her a little clearer in the lineup photo. All right, next and third is Paula. Gorgeous. So I don't think she was quite in the pose in this photo, but you can definitely see her shape. Her shoulders look amazing. I think this is the best roundness we're seeing in the delts. Really high. They come up off of her clavicle really beautifully. Um, nice overall V taper, just a really beautiful shape. I think her suit bottoms come up perfectly. They really draw your eye to that V. Um, great legs. I think the sweep looks good. The detail is there, but I don't feel like we have as much fullness as she had at the Sasquatch, for example. The inner thighs were really full and touching here, whereas we've got a bit of a space. So I think she's quite lean. Um, maybe, you know, a bit more size or just turning out the toes just to get the legs a bit more full and large to really balance with the upper body. But I'm loving the conditioning. I think you're getting a lot of detail and her waist looks so small. The suit, love it. I think this ombre effect looks very flattering. It's more quiet than the design we saw before and I like it better. I think it's just... Um, it draws your attention to her physique a little bit more rather than the suit itself. Uh, but really, I love the shoulders in this photo and that V shape. Amazing. All right, next and second is Shanice. We've seen her a few times this season looking unreal. Uh, her legs look really good. Beautiful sweep to the outside of the quad here, but somehow to me, this quad is looking fuller and rounder than this one. Maybe it's just the angle. Maybe she's not quite in the pose, um, but I see like almost more size here than I'm seeing here. Abs, I think, could be a little bit more defined. I think at the Chicago, for example, we saw a little bit more of a smallness to her waist, a bit more detail into the abs, but I'm definitely loving the fullness in the upper body, the lats. Uh, she just looks really nice, really good size. Um, the suit yellow again, actually, you know what? It suits her. I think she looks like a golden statue, like a trophy. Uh, it, it, it works with her skin. It works with the makeup. I think she's got some golden jewelry to really tie the look together. And it's quite nice, particularly with a backdrop. She looks, she looks really beautiful. Uh, so I think just a bit more leanness into the waist, a bit more detail coming through in the abs, and it would have been killer. And now in first place is Rhea. Oh man, she's incredible. She nailed it with the conditioning in her legs. So much detail coming through, better than we've ever seen. She still maintained that roundness, but you got a lot more of the individual parts of the quads showing than we had at the San Antonio. Um, the suit is such a flattering cut to really highlight how tiny her waist is. And my gosh, does she ever have a huge spread to her lat spread. The width is insane and it's a good overall balance with the legs. I think you notice the width to, from the edge of the shoulder to edge of the shoulder comes in and then edge of the quad to edge of the quad. It's a nice overall flow from top to bottom. Uh, I think maybe she could have a little bit more of the glossiness on some of those muscles just to highlight and draw your attention to a few more spots. And 
this shoulder to me looks a little more rounded than this one. So I can see she's not quite got the fingers and the hands level yet. So we could have just grabbed her right before she was settled into the pose. But overall, insane. The conditioning was perfect. And my gosh, that waist is so small. Okay, so here's everyone side by side. Rhea really steals the show to me. Her glutes are so outlined and so long, but they're not too lean. Like I think Christine beside her has a bit more striations coming through. Shanice has a really nice outline, but not quite as much size. And then in her back, amazing. Here, I think we have a great amount of shine and glossiness on her muscles at the top of her back. And so 3D, the middle, um, just really full. Like you could grab those individual parts of her back. I think her back shot is amazing. Great delts. I also noticed the delts on Paula from behind. I think she's got some really good size. From in front, the abs, the tiny waist on Rhea is really striking. Uh, I think next I see Christine and here her abs look amazing as does the conditioning in her legs. So it kind of shows you pictures matter. <laughs> um, Paula looks really good. I think she's got a nice overall shape. Shanice has a bit more size on her legs uh, and the shoulders, but, and, and Nikki, beautiful. Maybe just a little bit more height to the delts and it would draw your eye a bit more into the curves. Like Rhea has it all. The delts, the lats, the width, the definition, the conditioning, absolutely beautiful. And there she is, qualified. Okay, pro bikini. In first place, Yulia. Second, Rayana. Third, Daraja. Fourth, Lucy. And fifth, Reyna. And the scores were so close between second and first. That is tense. It was also really close between third and fourth. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Okay, so here's Reyna in fifth place. We already saw her get her ticket to Olympia at the Mexico Grand Battle. She looks beautiful. I love her suit. It is such a pretty combination of colors. I don't know whether you would call it purple or blue. It's both, and it's gorgeous. Um, I think she's got a really nice shape, particularly in the curve of her glute. She's got nice fullness to the top. That It's almost like a C, right? A, a backwards letter C. Just a beautiful curve, nice hamstrings, and gorgeous definition in the legs that you see this line, you see the groove in her hip, you see oblique, but she still has a softness. I think her back leg looks a little softer and less defined than it did in Mexico, and it's very good. Um nice delts. She's holding her shoulders a tiny bit more level than they were here. And I think it's a really good look. It just draws your eye to her hourglass. So overall head to toe stunning. Next and fourth is Lacey. Wow. She looks muscular. Her upper body is very large, big lats, big delts, beautiful shape, tiny waist, and a nice size to her glutes and good size in her legs. Very muscular overall, very curvy. Um, I think she could have a little bit more size to the top of the glute here, just so it's more of that curvy letter C shape, just a little bit more. Um, the conditioning is good. You've got nice detail coming through in her abs, a beautiful outline of the quad, maybe a little bit more outlining of the delts, just a tiny bit to, would be nice, but I love the quad sweep. I love her posing. I think she's doing a really good job of showing off the hamstrings, this beautiful curve right at the bottom of the glute, and uh, love the curly hair. I think she looks stunning. Maybe a, a brighter lip, like a little more bold. Overall, really great fourth place. Next in third is Daraja. Wow, she looks beautiful. She looks so natural and easygoing. Her posing, uh, she doesn't overly exaggerate how she's standing, and yet her curves are very exaggerated. That height to her glute is crazy. I love that the curve begins right at the 
strap. And I think you're seeing more roundness here in the top of her glute than you had here in this photo from Battle of the Bodies. She's got just an amazing overall shape, nice sweep to the quad, a lot of size in this back leg, and good detail coming through. So you see some lines, but you still aren't distracted by those lines. It's not crazy deep. Um, it's just a beautiful amount of athleticism showing through. Nice detail down by her kneecaps. Uh, she's got this beautiful curve to the front of her leg in the way that she poses with the way she has her knee. It's just stunning. Nice small waist, good definition in the abs and obliques. Um, beautiful upper body. I do prefer how she was standing here. Somehow to me, it was a little bit more of an arch maybe. Just you could see the roundness in the delt and the lat a little bit better here. To, like Perhaps it was just the angle of the photo, honestly. But to me, in this photo, the side of the delt is lined up a little, like a hair better with the glute than this one. But yeah, it could just be the angle. I think she looks stunning. Um, a third place, obviously, is amazing. Beautiful hair and makeup. She's gorgeous. Okay, next and second is Rihanna. And what strikes me when I look at her after seeing the other competitors is her waist and her midsection. Very flat, very smooth, very tiny, and very defined obliques. So she looks extremely small in the middle, very perfectly curved glute, and nice legs, maybe not as much size as some of the other competitors, but good detail coming through, nice curves. And again, not as much size maybe and muscle as some of the others, but a really nice curvy hourglass shape. And it's that midsection to me that really makes her stand out. She poses really well to show off the quad sweeps, to show off the waistline, and to still give you a nice view of her delts. I think she needs to be careful with the hair that we're not losing the shape of the back de delt. Sometimes, you know, there's a few pictures where the hair is over top. Uh, but I do love the curly. I love all the volume. I think it really fills out her frame better than, for example, at the Girl Power Show. Love the red lip. Coordinates beautifully with the red suit. Um, conditioning, you know, I think her legs look really good. I do like the little bit more definition that we're getting in the delt at the Nevada show or at the Clash, um, but she is maintaining a really nice fullness and roundness. Like I think this shoulder is looking even better than it looked at New York. So certainly a beautiful overall package and she did amazing. And now in first place is Yulia. Oh, wow. We just saw her at the San Antonio, and she looks stunning. So she stands a little differently than the others. I feel like her leg is a bit closer. She um, really almost rotates her foot. It's beautiful. Highlights the quad sweep. Shows off all of that beautiful definition coming through. She gets a lot of detail in the back leg and the hip, but I do wish that the line coming down the quad was a bit sharper. You saw it a tiny bit better here at the San Antonio, but I like that she's got more smoothness and fullness in the glute, whereas here we saw this extra line, um, which I think is not necessary. I think the smoothness and fullness is perfect. Really nice small waist, beautiful upper body. I would try holding the hand a little higher just to bring the eye more up so that we see the hourglass a bit more. But overall, I think she looks really amazing. Great size, nice curves, beautiful posing with the legs. And the suit color is stunning. It looks perfect with her skin and her hair, but I would do a bolder lip. That's me though. Okay, side by side, gorgeous. Dark-haired beauties. I love Reyna's hair. I think she's got it cut perfectly. It shows off the delts. It shows off her small waist. Um, lots of curly. Absolutely beautiful. So Reyna, uh, sorry, Yulia, you could see what I meant about this posing. The way she showcases the back leg is a little bit different. It's more rotated. And she certainly has the most conditioning out of everybody. More lines in the quads, a little bit more in the hip. I notice the beautiful fullness to the curve of Rihanna's glutes and her really teeny tiny waist. Uh, I think 
Lacey and Deraja could try to make their waists look even smaller with the posing, whether it's by twisting more, uh, whereas Reyna is a little bit more forward and she could perhaps be more sideways with her belly button to show off how small her waist is. I think first and second are doing a perfect job. Uh, we've got great delts on everyone. I'm noticing Rayana's, but I think when you get to the back shot for Yulia, her glutes are a little longer. They're a little bit larger than Rayana's. The tie-ins come down a little bit um, lower into the legs, and you've got a bit more size into the quads um, than you're seeing on Rayana. But maybe if Rayana put her legs a little closer together, it wouldn't be the worst thing. I'm not sure. Something to experiment with. Even Lacey, I think, could bring her legs a little closer together. Uh, Daraja looks incredible from behind. Really nice uh, tie-ins, though I do find her quads are showing perhaps a little too much, and maybe she might want to try pointing her feet a bit more forward. Overall, amazing. And in terms of Olympia, there she is. Okay, women's physique. In first place, Alex, second, Jihai, third, Yuna, fourth, Winsome, and fifth, Joanna. So, Joanna in fifth place, she's looking incredible this whole season. Unreal conditioning in those legs. I love how much detail you're getting in her quads. I think the quads look even better in terms of that detail than they did at the Olympia. Her abs look awesome. She's got really good separation and detail surrounding all of the ab muscles. She's got a nice V taper, though I do think in the lineup compared to the other girls, she could have more lat. She's got great arms, really nice uh, like outlining of all of those muscles in the arms. I think she looks great. She looks really fabulous, uh, beautiful suit. I like how high she's pulled it here. Like, compare the difference when this photo, it's a little bit more level with the belly button, and here, it's just a tiny bit higher than the belly button. Could just be the angle, of course, but to me, this really is sitting nicely. And then when you look over here, again, it's a little bit more level with the belly button. Pulling the, the hip connectors up higher just elongates the middle of the torso while making your eye drawn to that V shape. So I think she looks amazing. Next and fourth is Winsome. Gorgeous. That suit is so vibrant. I love that her makeup and lipstick coordinates with it beautifully. She's got amazing quads. The curve comes right from her suit all the way to her knee. Really full, great size, great just bubbliness to those muscles. They just look so pumped. She's got nice detail in the abs and beautiful rounded lats. A great overall shape. Um, I like the detail coming through in her biceps. Uh, maybe she could have a little bit more size to the delts in this front pose. Uh, it, it would be just a, a little bit more, just to really balance with that size in the legs. But I think her X frame is really visible and she looks awesome. I don't think she's even quite in the pose yet. You can tell by her hands. So uh, this is a great look for her. I love all the pink. Next is Yuna in third place. They didn't have her in the front pose in the picture. So this is the closest I could find. And I think her legs look so round. What great size she has. Her abs look really tight. Um, the lats are looking very nice, very full. I think she needs a darker tan. And I also feel like the conditioning is not showing through very well, at least in this picture. I think we saw a lot more detail at the New York show. She just looked a little leaner. There was sharper lines. Um, but yeah, it could just be that the pose is not quite as flattering to the detail in the legs. And maybe we'll see it a little bit later in the lineup photo. Uh, the suit is very nice. It's beautiful colors. I love how high it comes up. Uh, she she looks really good. Just I do think, though, darker tan and more conditioning. Okay, next in second is Jihai. 
gorgeous. Love her legs. These women's physique women, the legs are just unreal. She's got a lot of size on the inside part of her leg. That inner thigh looks really just full and round. Uh, good detail coming through on those quads in the front. Nice sweep showing. I do think from a posing perspective though, she could be up a little higher on this toe and maybe even bring this foot out a bit just to create more of the X shape. Like right now, I would put her more like the letter Y because she's wide in that V taper and then it's more straight to the bottom. I would just want my eye to see a little bit more width coming out. And, and I only mean that from a posing perspective, not from her physique. I think her shape itself is very beautiful. She's got nice balance. She's got good symmetry left to right. Um, I think she looks really good. Maybe a little more ab definition wouldn't wouldn't be terrible, but uh, I like that you can see the obliques. Her stomach is nice and flat. Her suit is beautiful, big jewels, uh, lots of bling. She looks fabulous. And now in first place is Alex. Oh my gosh, check out the quads. She's got just the feathering is so clear and her abs also they're just unbelievably easy to see super defined her glutes look crazy good even from the front which i always think is so cool um she's got really nice length to the lats it's like the lat comes all the way to her belly button beautiful overall shape and this is a very nice pose it's not the the same front pose that I've been showing the other girls but you can see she's just got a lot of size beautiful skin tone great conditioning and gorgeous proportions you've got nice big size in the legs big in the lats big in the arms and the gold looks beautiful her dark skin and then the gold background again it's a really nice look I do think the straps could come up higher. I think that would flatter her tiny waistline even more, but that's about it. She looks incredible. Okay, so here is the side-by-side. -side. Check out the abs on Alex. Unreal. The next thing I notice is how small Yuna's waistline is. She's very narrow. Uh, on Winsome, I'm noticing her lats gorgeous and also the sweep of the quads down at the bottom though now when I compare her I think she could have more of a roundness up at the top of her quad Joanna awesome great legs nice muscle in the upper body but she's not quite as narrow in her midsection as you know Alex or even Yuna for example um, really beautiful. I think Alex shines here. She's got so much detail and just curves, but also, you know, the, the curves in her legs are a very beautiful shape from her knee all the way to the hip. And I think that is particularly pleasant. It just creates an overall nice shape and really curvy, curvy round lats and delts. And what I like about Alex from behind is she's got size in her glutes, but they're not overly striated and hard. They still have a roundness and fullness and softness in the upper part of the muscle. And then they've got nice definition coming through to the tie-ins and the outline. I think G High beside her has a really sharp looking glute. Her the outline is very visible but she doesn't have as much fullness and roundness. Then Winsome beside her, for example, has lots of roundness and fullness, but not quite as much definition, particularly on the bottom part where the glute and the hamstrings come together. Yuna has nice outlining, but not quite enough size to compare with Alex. And then Joanna has gorgeous outlining and size, but I feel that her back does not have as much of that 3D quality like Alex. I feel like you could grab each individual part of her back every muscle is so full and round and so when you look at that everything combined with her small waist perfect size great conditioning she really knocked it out of the park and in terms of olympia there she is qualified okay pro fitness 
In first place, Stephanie. Second, Karina. Third, Kristen. Fourth, Kayla. And fifth, Sally. And what is interesting is Stephanie actually got second place for her physique and second place for her routine, but those two scores combined to give her first. It was Kayla who had first place in her physique, um, but Kristen was able to do just a little bit better in the routine. So even though they were tied, it's the routine that breaks the score. So very close between third and fourth, but a good overall win for Stephanie. So here's Sally in fifth place. Gorgeous. I love the color of this suit. It's so pretty and feminine. Fits her beautifully. Comes up nice and high. I love the outline sparkle, this glitter. Oh, pretty. Um, everything looks so put together and polished. Her hair is lovely. Nice jewels. Beautiful posing. I think her shape is really nice. She's got a nice small waist, good lats, nice full round delts. I think conditioning could have been more. I'd want to see a bit more ab definition, more detail in the legs. And I think even more size in the legs too, just to have a bit more of that roundness and curve coming. But beautiful glue, beautiful lats. Overall, she looks really quite lovely. Next is Kayla in fourth place. Okay, a little bit more muscular, exactly what I'm saying. A bit more size in the legs, uh, a little bit more conditioning for sure. You're seeing a lot more detail in the quads, more ab definition. Her delts are beautifully outlined. Uh, just overall, she looks extremely fit, athletic, muscular, and tight. Love it. Her suit is gorgeous gorgeous. I love these dark colors. It's just such a vibe with the dark hair and then the makeup is perfectly coordinated. She might even have a bit of red in her hair. I'm not sure, but oh man, it looks so cool. She just looks wicked. I love it. Um, nice posing. I think you get a really good look at her quads. You can see how flat her stomach is. And uh, beautiful delts. Just overall, I think her physique is phenomenal. She looks amazing. Okay, next in third place is Kristen. So exciting seeing her in the top five once again in her beautiful lavender suit. It's so pretty, very feminine. It fits her really nicely. And you know, I was looking at the difference between this pose and this pose. I see that they're not the same pose, but I really like how upright she is here. Whereas here, it's almost like her chest and abs are coming out and she's really arching. Here, she's more back and the shoulders are back. It's just such a natural, um, confident, really beautiful looking pose on her. I think she looks really lovely. Uh, great size in her legs. Amazing delts. Conditioning doesn't look as tight as it did at the Tampa, certainly in this picture. Uh, I liked that you could see a little bit more ab definition there. So I think if we could get a bit more of those crisp, clean lines, it would look really good. Uh, but overall, she looks really quite nice. Her hair is lovely, beautiful makeup, her physique, her posing, great roundness to her glute. She looks lovely. Karina in second place, I couldn't find any pictures on the NPC site, on the Wings of Strength Instagram, so I went to her Instagram and I grabbed a screenshot of her routine. That's the best I could find. Um, you can see clearly though how well defined her legs are. She's got crazy definition, even in a zoomed out screenshot, um, nice tan, uh, not too much else I can say. I think overall she looks like she must have done very well. And oh, her routine looked amazing in that video. Extremely high energy. She did a great job. Second place. That's awesome. Okay, now in first place is Stephanie. So we've seen her a couple times and she's looking phenomenal. I think her legs look unreal. She's got great hamstrings and check out all of this detail on the side of her hip. I don't know that we've seen quite so much of it in any of these other pictures. Just really beautifully outlined. She's got lines, she's got grooves, uh, really good fullness. 
nice small waist with a good flat stomach and the very large lat. I think overall you're seeing a good curve. You're seeing a nice rounded shape. Her delts, both delts look really good. I think this is the best we're seeing her pose this back shoulder. In these other photos, now granted it could be the angle, but you you don't quite see the height and the size, but in this photo with the hair up, man, you're getting such a beautiful look at how balanced and symmetrical she is with those delts. So I think she looks fabulous. Suit fits perfect. Makeup is beautiful. I actually really like the hair up. I think it definitely shows off her physique in a really good way. Here's a look at everyone's routine outfits. Um, very fun. Lots of bright colors. Everybody looks incredible. Okay, so the side by side, now remember it was Kayla who came in first place for her physique. And you can see she's got great ab definition, really big delts, a nice V taper, and man, her legs stand out. Lots of definition and lots of size. I think Stephanie beside her also has some really great size, but maybe not quite as defined. Kristen, good size, but definitely not as much definition as Kayla in the front. I think Sally wasn't quite in her pose. You can see she's got some good size in the legs, but not quite the V taper like we're seeing on the other competitors, just a little more lat, a little more sweep. And then Karina, lots of good definition coming through, but just needs more size. I think the legs could be bigger, both the inside and the outside. She could have a bit more delt. Overall, in terms of the physiques, I think you're definitely seeing Stephanie, Kayla, and Kristen with that very muscular, full shape. Um, Kristen looks really conditioned from behind. You're getting a great look at her adductors, good tie-ins, but just from the front, not quite as crispy. Kayla, awesome. Good size and length to her glutes. Uh, nice fullness in the back. Stephanie, I think, has to be careful that we don't lose her delts in this back pose. I think you get a nice height here, and then it kind of levels a bit when she's facing the back. Amazing. A really fabulous top five. And there she is, added to the list of qualified athletes. Okay, pro wellness. In first place, Andrea. Second, Maria. Third, Rosa. Fourth, Jenna. And fifth, Jennifer. And looking at the scores, it was pretty darn close. One point difference between second place and third place. Wow. Okay, Jennifer in fifth looks beautiful. Check out this purple suit. Oh, wow. So pretty, very feminine, and it looks great with her skin and her hair. Her hair is a different tone, I think, and it looks beautiful also. Very beachy and just healthy and lively. I think she looks stunning. This is a great look. And the other thing I'm noticing is just how tall and up she looks. To me, for example, at the Vancouver Island show, which I was actually at in person and I saw her on stage with my own eyes, extremely impressive. Um, she looks almost more leaning in these photos, right? But here she looks tall. Her shoulders are high. Her chest is up. I love it. I think this pose looks so good. It's highlighting her hourglass. It's showing off the shape of her glute. You're seeing the back leg really beautifully. I like how up on her toe she is. It just gives you a great look at the quad sweep. The only thing, maybe she could have her feet a little bit further apart just so that we can see more of the hamstring of the back leg. That's about it. I think she looks fabulous. Great size. Nice definition. She's got this groove down the hip. Maybe she could have a tiny bit more lines coming through in the legs. Um, maybe a little bit more outline to the delts. But overall, I just think she looks stunning. It was a beautiful look. Next and fourth is Jenna. Gorgeous. Check out the pink. Oh, wow. These girls are really knocking it out of the park in their suits. And again, I think her posing looks even better when we compare her here to the Texas. Way more upright. Her waist looks so good here. At this show, the Rio Grande Valley, you saw more of her torso, which gave you a great look at her glute. But 
man, here she's really twisted and her waist looks absolutely teensy. It's a good pose. Her legs look fabulous as well. Nice size in the glute, nice size in the hamstrings and good detail coming through with a little bit of lines outlining the quad, groove in the hip, super chiseled oblique, just gorgeous. Um, I wish that there was a little bit more of the back leg showing, so I did prefer this space that we saw on her feet here, just so that we could see more. And I do feel like even though we've got some nice definition coming through on the front leg, a little tiny bit more would be good so that we see more lines on the back leg, on the inner thigh. Um, and then the hair, I think, needs to be to the back so we can see her delts a bit more, both of them. Overall, though, stunning. I love the pink. I love the pink suit, the pink lipstick. Um, great posing. She looks amazing. Oh, okay. One last tiny thing. So with the posing, what was good about Texas was how round her glute looked at the top. Here, we don't get quite so much roundness on the top. So I think if she could somehow fill this space with just a little bit more size and curve, then she'd be unstoppable. Okay, next and third is Rosa. They didn't have that same side pose picture, but you can see she's got great definition coming through in her quads and a gorgeous shape and size to her glutes. Really big glutes. Great definition in her abs. You've got the six-pack lines. You've got the obliques. Beautiful curves. Uh, you're seeing a nice sweep to her quad here. I'm wondering though if she couldn't have a little bit more size to the inside of her quad. You know, this right roundness in here would be nice. It's a bit of a straight line, whereas I want to see a bit more of that curvy fullness. But I think her overall shape looks really good. Nice hourglass curve, good definition, outlining the delts, outlining um, the quads and the abs. I, I understand that this isn't quite the pose, so to me the hair needs to be to the back, but she could have flung it just a second later, uh, just so that we can see the delts and see a bit more of her upper body. The pink looks great. I like the coordinated makeup. Her long hair has beautiful curls that um, just, they just, your eye just kind of travels over all of the curves of her body. So I think she did amazing. Third place was spectacular. Next and second, Maria. Okay, lots of good size on her legs, but also in her arms. So I'm seeing great curves to the hamstring, and I love that not only is the quad sweep very visible, but she's got a bit more of that definition coming through so that you see just a bit more detail. It just gives that athletic look. Um, she's still got softness and roundness and fullness, but just a little bit of those lines really helps to draw your eye to the quads and appreciate the muscle. Uh, I love the groove that she's got here in her hip. I think she's got a nice curve to the glute. Maybe a, just a little bit more right here would be good. Just a little bit more of that curve, but it does have a nice overall shape from the hip connector down to her hamstring. So just beautiful, I think. Uh, really good flat stomach, nice obliques, and I love that her hair is to the back so we can see the delts, and she has amazing delts. Great shape, good outlining, right? They're not overly hard, and um, the, the line isn't too sharp, but you can still see that nice little triangle shape down at the bottom. Uh, great lats. Uh, she's clearly twisting and really wringing out her waist and doing a great job of showing off that hourglass shape. Perhaps being up on this toe would give even more height to the quad, but she might not have been quite in her pose yet. So overall, gorgeous. And it's a beautiful suit. I love that grapey purple color. Uh, and I like all this white crystal at the top. It really makes you look up towards her earrings and then her beautiful face. 
All right, now in first place is Andrea. Again, I didn't quite have that side pose, but you can see she's got a lot of curve to her quads. You see the sweep both on the outside, but also to the inside and nice definition, particularly down by her kneecaps, but the line goes all the way up. The six pack is there, clearly visible, and wow, glutes from the front. I love it. Super small waist, uh, nice delts. I think she could probably have a little bit more roundness to the top of the delt overall, but she's got good just a flow from head to toe. You see the beautiful shape. The red suit is really nice. Um, which one's my favorite? Oh gosh. They're all really beautiful and they look nice with the background. I think the purple was quite stunning with her hair color and the color of her skin. So I guess this one is my favorite, but this pure red is quite striking. And I think in person on stage, it could be really quite beautiful. Um, overall, she looks really amazing. Maybe the tan could have been a tad darker, uh, like, like a more mahogany here. I think it looks a little bit more of a brown color, but stunning, beautiful overall look. And I'm really happy for her in first place. Okay. Here's the lineup side by side. They didn't have a back lineup shot and they actually didn't have a picture of Andrea from behind. So we'll have to just use our imaginations a little bit. You can see though just how gorgeous everyone looked. Maria's waist looks so small in this picture as does Rosa and uh, Jennifer's actually. Andrea is standing a little bit more straight so you see some good definition but you're not getting that tininess. Uh, like you see from Maria, for example, who's a lot more sideways, even in the front pose. Uh, I think you're noticing some beautiful delts on Andrea as well as Maria. And wow, the size on Maria's legs is incredible. But also Jen, that back leg looks awesome. But now when I look at Andrea, I'm seeing that fullness, but also some nice, beautiful, rounded uh, quality to her legs. So she's got the definition, but it's still soft and round and full. Maria potentially might have a little bit too much of that definition coming through. Maybe even Jen, it, it's almost a, there's a hardness about the way her quads look. Whereas Andrea has a bit more softness and just curvy shape overall. I'm super impressed by the abs of everyone. And when we come to the back, I think Jenna has some really nice tie-ins. I like the outlining of the back of her legs, uh, uh, back of her glutes, I mean, right here on the sides. Maria, uh, you know, the conditioning might be a tad too sharp. I think her hamstrings are really visible, by far the most visible of the whole lineup. Jennifer, the quad sweep looks crazy. I'm loving the curves on the inside, though I do think she could have a bit more size to the glutes when you compare, for example, to Rosa beside her. Rosa, awesome shape, really full and curvy and round on the top of her glutes. So overall, what an incredible wellness top five. And in terms of Olympia, there she is. So that's it for this recap. I know there was a master's portion as well. I hope to be able to get to it. If I do, it'll be in its own separate video. And then in the meantime, there are four more shows coming up this weekend to finish off the qualification period. Oh man. And then of course, I've got my vlog coming your way as well. So make sure you subscribe. Give me a like if you like this video. Comment your thoughts below and come find me. I'm at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.